Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spider. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for February 16th, 2023. The character the Watcher and the Modifier Star Sealed deck craft the deck from 30 random cards. Time dilation, all enemies start with a slow debuff, and Night Terrors resting at rest side heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. I see Vorpal in 8th place with 1594, really good, uh, Mike with 1574, not bad either. Let's review the scores from yesterday. So David ended up with 1308 in 9th place, congratulations, um, pretty good run, you can check out his Twitch stream. There, uh, David was able to get 3 collector bonuses, perfect all but two elites um was able to get the eye like shiny modifier which is something i missed by um wanda relic and then also was able to get combo uh, the overkill modifier didn't get combo and also played a little slower so could have had uh, extra 50 points from being able to get those theoretically so 1358 was possible and i'm pretty sure everything above that theoretical maximum so anything above 1358 so basically one through sixth place i don't think those are legit scores it was a certain future run so there's limits to how different runs could have been and i think david's run was uh wait they would run plus an extra 50 points was probably the best that can happen oh actually i guess i should have said 75 points uh, because david did miss one more collector bonus theoretically although not many people were able to get more than three collector bonuses but yeah the four would have been possible as well um and then interestingly david did go for an early prayer will uh, as a result didn't even try to go for highlander and was very successful at getting collector bonuses that's also something that Loy pointed out that prayer will might have made it a little easier to get more collector bonuses then you have Vorpal here in 16th place with 1283. Vorpal only got two collector bonuses, one of them being the Apparitions, which is interesting because I didn't see the Apparition event at all. And some people got the Apparitions, others didn't, uh, which is something to consider. Um, and only saw, tried to go for Curses, only saw three total, so I don't think Curses would have been possible yesterday anyway. Also took Prayer Wheel... Um, and then uh, didn't uh, didn't get super lucky with some of the collector bonuses. Could have um, couldn't gotten more um, with some luck, but that didn't happen. Uh, the prayer wheel didn't end up helping actually quite a bit. All right, uh, for Vorpal at least, for others it did help. Uh, you have Monkey Bone, um, Pelts, and Yavas tied at 1258. Uh, Pelts was able to go for Highlander, aggressively removed some of the extra stacks, um, and then was also able to get to 35 cards, so not much lost from that, although David did get in DM modifier, so had more than 50 cards. Um, didn't get Curses, of course, didn't even attempt to go for Curses, which is probably a smart decision, um, and then also missed the Overkill, and I think that was definitely a problem uh, yesterday. Vorpal was able to get Overkill with the Dark Orb, uh, but I think I and others um, ended up having too many storms in active so it was hard to wait for a dark orb to become powerful enough to get the overkill modifier uh, but yeah still pretty good scores there as well um and then at the next stage nobody here yeah after that though at 1158 you have a few people tied uh, you have george uh, at 1158 as well as um andrew who ran it a second time so the score doesn't show up the, because the first time andrew died but the second run through andrew was able to get three collective bonuses also took prayer wheel got i like shiny uh, but missed one boss so with another boss 1258 would have been doable uh, had a very defensive deck with the orbs which is always a lot of fun and then melazan also has 1158 um, perfected three elites and three bosses uh and also only got two collective bonuses, just like Vorpal, just the apparitions and the stack that you start off with. And also got a little unlucky with some of the elites not drawing the apparitions on time. Um, also wasn't able to get overkill. Uh, again, similar problem as uh, others. And then, yeah, I barely made it into top 100. I did miss a boss, uh, so 1233 would have been possible. But yeah, I unsuccessfully tried to go for Highlander and then end up just giving up. So I only end up with one collector bonus, which was a little disappointing yesterday. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. So sealed deck with time dilation and night terrors. So first, let me see if I can enter Wrath. Okay, I have one Crescendo. I should definitely take that. And then there's no reason not to go for Collector Bonuses, right? So I see uh, three Consecrates already. Actually, there's a fourth one if I want an early Collector Bonus and talk to the end for Block. That's pretty good. I should also pick a way to exit Wrath with Tranquility and Empty Body. Okay, that's all already eight cards, right? So um, I can only pick up two more. I wonder if I should take Sands of Time for some good damage output or Sash Whip for weakness. Who's my boss here? Guardian. Okay, actually, for the Guardian, I will need some defensive cards, some traditional defensive cards. So I think I'll take the Evaluate and then one. Lo my last card could be the Perseverance. Or actually, instead of the Evaluate, let me take two Perseverances. Yeah, this is... Okay, well, I got an early Collector Bonus on the Consecrates. Talk to the Hand together with these will help. Um, but not much other than that, so I am hoping to get some more ways to enter Wrath. Multi-hit attacks, maybe, a, um, uh, what is the name of the card? Tantrum. A Tantrum would be great. Alright, three lead path in the middle, 
Um, one, two, three, four question mark rooms, which is not too bad. Not great either, but that should be fine. All right, so 11 incoming. I guess a lot relies on me drawing the talk to the end on time. So without it, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but I can do empty body perseverance and then play the consecrates. Mm -hmm. And maybe I should have taken a strong attack card. All right, here I'll definitely do crescendo, talk to the hand, consecrate, and that should be enough to kill. Good. Evaluate flying sleeves, empty fists. I think I need multi hits like flying sleeves to make the talk to the end a little better. And then here, I only lost, uh, what was it, 6 HP? Or no, 7, but I got Happy Flower. Every 3 turns, get extra energy. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. Got the Cultist here. Uh, yeah, I think I should always play the Crescendo when I can. Let's also do Perseverance, Crescendo, Consecrates, and Flying Sleeves. Yeah, and then one of the Consecrates should kill next turn. Okay. All right, Wave the Hand, Bowling Bash, or Signature Move. I have a lot of zero-cost cards, so Signature Move might not be a bad idea. Let's take it. That would be a strong damage card. It does mean I won't be able to take Sands of Time, but I think that's fine. Let's do Consecrates here, and then Signature Move. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I might get the Overcome out if I'm, if I'm in Wrath as well. Another Perseverance. Yeah, I can't do Windmill Strike together with Signature Move. Let's take another Perseverance. Okay. And then here... Oh, well, I could go for a Curse. Okay, I'm sort of glad I didn't, because my deck doesn't really deal well with Curses. I'm just taking damage instead, which is... Well, not that great. All right, got the sentries. Now, these don't have the slow debuff, and I will have to play two defensive cards to be fully defended, but I think that's fine. So let's do Empty Body, Perseverance, and then Consecrate. I'll keep the Flying Sleeves for when I'm in Wrath. Hopefully, that'll be next turn, and I can exit Wrath with Tranquility as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's Signature Move. Um, hmm... So Signature Move together with Consecrate kills one of them, and I can do two Perseverances to kill the... Oh, I don't have energy for that. Actually, I have to play the Flying Sleeves as well, right? I don't think there's anything I can do to perfect this one, unfortunately. Let's try, though. So let's do Miracle, play the Consecrates. I have to do Flying Sleeves to trigger the... Wait, actually, no, I can't defend if I don't kill one of the sentries. So yeah, I have to do Flying Sleeves... And then I, I have to do the signature move, but then I can only play one of the perseverances. Yeah, which is a bummer. Not nothing I could have done about that. I needed to draw the crescendo. I think with crescendo I might have had a chance, although it might have not been easy either. Um, so here, let's do crescendo. Talk to the hand. Consecrate one. Consecrate two. And then I should be able to kill next turn with any attack. Yeah, a bit of a bummer, but fine. All right, we got a regal pull. I'm gonna rescue and heal an additional 15 HP, as well as battle him, scroll or pray. Um, I might go for Popper, so I don't think, actually, in this deck, Scrawl is not a bad idea because I have so many zero-cost cards. I don't think I can do Battle Him either, though, right, because of the signature move. I don't really need Prey, but... Do I take Scrawl and remove it if I don't need it? No, no, let's take the Prey. Card draw is a problem, though. Yeah, if I see an Omniscience of Wish, I will have regretted doing this, but what can you do here? I think I'll risk playing Crescendo. I can ex always exit Wrath with the Tranquility 2, right? Let's do Talk to the Hand, Consecrate 1, Consecrate 2. And then you want, yeah, let's exit Wrath. That way I'll take less damage and I should be able to kill once I draw the signature move. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Got a Colorless Potion, Sanctity, Crushers, Consecrate. I already have enough Consecrates. Let's take the Sanctity. That's a solid defensive card. And I do need some block for the upcoming boss. All right, Lagaloon is actually pretty good. Um, I think I'll do Prey and then wait for the Perseverance to get a little better. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wouldn't mind entering Wrath here if I can. Uh, talk to the End is pretty good too. Let me first see what the Sanctity gives me. All right, more Perseverance. That's fine. Let's do one Talk to the End, nothing else. Okay. Next turn, I can enter Wrath guaranteed. But can I deal enough damage? Uh, I mean, I should enter Wrath either way, right? Let's do Crescendo. Then Consecrate 1, 2. Then Insight. All right, another Prey, another Consecrate. I have to do Flying Sleeves here. All right, that's fine. I do have a bunch of Perseverances, and I have the Tranquility. I was hoping to play the Signature move to be able to deal 66 damage and exit and, and kill. Got a Recalcum if you end your turn without blocking 6 block, as well as a Strength Potion, and the second talk to the end is really tempting. I should take it as much as I need more defensive cards for the boss, for the upcoming boss. We got Bite to be Statue Potions always appear in Combat Rewards, which is good this early on. And then Jawworm and Acid Slime. Let's do Talk to the Hand on the Jawworm. Consecrate. And I might as well play the Perseverance. There's no reason to save them for later. Chances are I'll be able to kill later. Mm -hmm. All right. Crescendo's great here. Um, should I do Sanctity? Yeah, let's see what I'll draw. All right. Consecrate one, two. And then kill with Flying Sleeves. Good. 
Got a regen potion. I might drink that right away. I don't think I can do a signature move. Two signature moves will conflict with each other, right? I don't really need to collect either. Let's take the prostrate. Don't really need it, though. I did take prey. Yeah, fine. Let's take prostrate with a few collective bonuses on those. I might be able to enter divinity. All right, talk to the end, consecrate. I guess if I doing if I'm playing the talk to the end, I am usually negating the Oracalcum, so that's something to consider. All right, let's do prostrate sanctity. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do crescendo this turn. Let's do pray. Uh, actually, wait, no, I can do miracle flying sleeves and signature move. Right, awesome. All right, got gold back. I should have drank the uh, regen potion. Um, I like the blessing of the forge more, so let's get rid of it. Halt, Wreath of Flame, or Flying Sleeves. Let's take... So too many Flying Sleeves will, again, make the um, signature move harder to play, right? Let's take the Halt instead. That might be better. Okay. All right, here I got the Fungi Beasts. Uh, let's start with two Talk to the Hands, which is great. Then do Consecrate. I'll do Miracle Sanctity. Okay. And then two more Consecrates. Should allow me to kill this one. Yeah, actually, I was very close to being able to kill. Um, wow. Okay. Don't have any way to uh, kill here. A bit of a bummer, but fine. I'll just wait for next turn. Okay, that was a little annoying. All right, we got another colorless potion, which I don't think I'll take. Flurry of Blows, Empty Body, or Master Reality. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't switch stances, unfortunately, often enough for Flurry of Blows to be worth it. Let's take that second Empty Body. Mm -hmm. And then, do I want Dolly's Mirror? Unfortunately, I don't have any upgraded cards. That's a bit of a bummer. I could duplicate another talk to the hand. It would be expensive. Let me first check cards. Cut through fate is pretty good. I should definitely take that. I am contemplating things steady as well. Let's do that as well. All right, fine. Let's uh, duplicate the um, talk to the hand. It would be so much better if I had it upgraded, but haven't had a single rest site so far. Okay. And then sentries again. Let's see if I can get more lucky this time around. Uh, not really. Well, I could do Crescendo to Consecrates and then Perseverance Empty Body. It might not be a bad idea. You know what? I'm going to drink the Blessing of the Forge here. So let's do Crescendo. Then Consecrates. Yeah, that's 32 damage. I think that's worth it. And then I'll do Perseverance Empty Body. So I don't need as much to kill next turn. So maybe a Consecrate. Actually, two Consecrates would be great. Okay, so I can trigger the... Yeah, yeah I think I should be able to fill a defend here. I'll just do... Um, flying Sleeves, you. Then Talk to the Hand, you. And Signature Move to Kill. Good. All right, perfect. This one, we got Bag of Preparation. At the Starvage Combat, draw two additional cards. Very nice. As well as a Stance Potion. And again, for the upcoming boss, mm, Wave of the Hand might be pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. Because I have Talk to the Hand, right? So they will interact with each other pretty well. I might even consider upgrading that. But I think my first upgrade should be one of the Talk to the Hands. Okay. So now the goal for the upcoming for the for the beginning of the fight is to play as many talk to the ends as possible. All right, there's one. That's a, a start. Um. Oh boy. Uh, let's do talk to the hand. Should I drink? You know what? Let's drink the strength potion as well. So I'll do talk to the hand. Might as well do consecrate. I'm trying to think if I should trigger the miracle sanctity. Not that I really need the block. You know what? No. Instead, I'll do pray. Should I do, you know what? Fine. Let's just do study. Okay. I will need a little bit of damage, but I can always enter Wrath with Crescendo. Or a Signature Move. That's pretty good, too. I can even do Wave the Hand, right? Should I enter Wrath? It's tempting. I would deal a lot of damage. Uh, here, let's do Wave the Hand first, then do Talk to the Hand 1, 2. I have to do the... Con Actually, yeah, 3, and then do Signature Move. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to risk entering Wrath. Let's play it safe. Okay. 6 incoming. There's another... Talk to the end. That alone is not going to be enough, though. So I have to do... Let's do Prostrate first. Then do a second Talk to the End, which is great. So every time I attack, I get um, three damage, but then two extra block. Let's do Halt. Um, so that allows me to be fully defended. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's draw the insights. And do I want to do anything else? No, no. Let's wait. Okay. 12. Uh, all right. At least I have the Perseverances. Uh, let's do... Do I want to reshuffle? There's another Talk to the End coming up, so I definitely want to play that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll just do two Perseverances and keep one more for next turn. Okay. Oh, my hand is a little full, though. Didn't consider that. Okay, so... I think I can fully defend, right? Um, I do want to free up my hand a little. Should I enter Wrath? I think I can. Yeah, I should be able to fully defend. Let's try it. In the worst case, I can exit Wrath. Let's do Empty Body first, then Crescendo. Alright. 
Then I'll do Consecrate, Flying Sleeves. Actually, that will force a transformation anyway. And then let me see if I can get one more attack. Not that I really need to. Oh, there's another empty body. That's unfortunate. Should be fine, though. Okay, I do want the Halt for next turn. That seems like a good idea. Okay. All right, so 18, I can do Halt. That's 12. Then Sanctity. That brings me up to 18. Ooh, can I trigger? I think I can trigger the signature move, right? Let's do Consecrate. And then I could have considered playing the Wave of the Hand. Next turn, I might have trouble defending. Also might have trouble exiting Wrath. So, oh, although if I do Wave the Hand, I will only trigger it once. No, fine. Let's do... Actually, Signature Move is enough to kill. I'm glad I overthought that one. All right, we got a Speed Potion, Alpha Spirit Shield, or Master Reality. I'll try to go for Popper. Not a huge fan of any of those cards. And I probably have to take Curse Key and Energy at the start of your turn. When we open an Ombos Chest, obtain a Curse. Not necessarily for the Energy, but I think more for the potential Curses modifier. So this guarantees two Curses, and hopefully I can get three more. Three Lead Paths, starting on the left and then turning right. That'll give me one question mark room. Oh, just two total. Now, there is a path where I can avoid... No, I don't have enough gold to avoid this question mark room and take the shop instead. Let's just do the question mark room path there. The extra energy would be nice. Now, I just need... I really need extra card draw. I think I'll do Crescendo, then talk to the hand, Consecrate, Flying Sleeves. Okay. Actually, I guess the study will help a little with card draw, right? Consecrate, Signature Move. That's enough to kill. Good. Yeah, the Signature Move is doing a lot of work here. A Fire Potion. I probably don't need it more than the Speed Potion. Conse consecrate, Crush Joints, Windmill Strike. Let's take the Crush Joints. Okay. That together with the um, Signature Move should allow me to get the Overkill Modifier. And let's do the Talk to the Hands, Prostrate, Halt. I could have... I think I could have entered Wrath here, right? Probably should have entered Wrath. I think about it. Um... Well, it's too late now. Yeah, I should have done that at the beginning. The hold would have allowed me to be fully defended. All right, let's do Crescendo now. Then Consecrate, Study, and Flying Sleeves. Okay. And then here... Oof, I cannot kill. I might... Hang on, let's do Wave of the Hand, Consecrate. Um, so 15 incoming. Uh, you know what? Let's fully defend here instead. And then hope... Oh, I'm getting a lot of dazed into my draw pile, so I might have trouble killing here. Never mind, I got the signature move. So let's do crush joints, talk to that. I don't even need that signature move. Distill Chaos, play the top three cards of your draw pile, is probably better than the fire potion, yeah. And then flying sleeves to reach heaven or empty mind. Let's take the flying sleeves, potential collector bonus on that. Let me also sort A to Z just to make sure I know how many cards I have. So I have three talk to the hands and two flying sleeves at the moment. All right, curse number one, yep. We got shame as well as ancient T set, one of into rest sites, and ninth call with two extra energy. Okay. And then got the Sentries and Sphere Guardian. Um, unfortunately, no slow debuff on these ones. Uh, do I want Wave the Hand? Yes, yes, because then I can do Wave the Hand, Talk to the Hand, Prostrate Sanctity. Okay. And then I can do Flying Sleeves. No, let's do Cut Through Fate first. Consecrate is pretty good. And then, you know what? Let me do a Miracle as well, just to apply more turns of weakness. Mm -hmm. Should be useful, because I'll be frail next turn too. Uh, do I want to do Crescendo here? No, too risky. Uh, instead, I think... Actually, if I do Crescendo, I'll have 15 incoming. Uh, no, no, I, I won't be able to full defend. I do have the energy. Fine, let's do Crescendo. Play the Consecrates. I could have considered doing Flying Sleeves on the Sentry just to gain more... Um, oh, right, I'm frail. Okay, so I'm still taking 3 damage. Hopefully, I'll draw the Signature Move, though, and can finish this. No. Well, let's do Halt, talk to the Hand, and then um, I'll do Tranquility... And Perseverance, okay. Okay, now I should draw the signature of thank you, game. All right, let's do Crush Joints. Um, talk to the hand, Consecrate, and then Signature Move is 45, right? Even in Wrath, that wouldn't have been more than 100 yet. We got a Power Potion. Okay, fine, I'll take it over this still Chaos Potion. Evaluate Windmill Strike, Just Lucky. Just Lucky is fine. Evaluate might be a decent blocker. Let's take the Evaluate, though. Yeah. All right, Snake Plant. Um, hmm. Let's start with uh, Miracle Sanctity. All right. And I think I'll do Talk to the Ants here. Yeah, that means I won't apply Vulnerability, but it also means I'll get a little bit extra block, and I think I might need that more. Okay, maybe I didn't need it because I am fully defended here. Okay. Another 21. Now here I have... I'm going to have... Well, actually, I have four block return, right? It should be fine. Let's do Consecrate. Then... Um, flying Sleeves. 
And then signature move is 36. That's obviously not enough. Uh, let's do perseverance first. Yep, and then signature move. That is enough. Good. Yeah, I forget how much block the block return will give you, especially if you have a bunch of multi-hit attacks. Okay, we've got fruit juice. Okay, I am getting... You know what? Let's get rid of this potion. Take the fruit juice instead. Tranquility, conclude, or consecrate. Conclude doesn't work with the well, with the um, signature move, right? And I already have consecrate. Let's take another tranquility then. All right, first elite here. Grumman leader now. Obviously, having a um, conclude would have been great here. I think I kind of want to wrath to be able to um, kill with the consecrate and play the halt. Let's try this. Let's do crescendo, then talk to the hand. So Consecrate should be enough to kill one of the minions. I can do Halt. 15. I do need to defend against 36, which seems very difficult. Get rid of both of these. Yeah, unfortunately. Possible, but difficult. Yeah. I only have 26. All right, let's do Empty Body. That's a bummer, because now I can't enter Wrath anymore. And I really liked entering Wrath. All right, let's do Sanctity, see what I get. Okay, there is Signature Move, which I can play, and I probably should play. Let's do Miracle, Crush Joints, Flying Sleeves, and then Signature Move for 63. That's enough to kill. Good. Yeah, if I was in Wrath on that, that would have been 127 damage. That would have been much better. We got Matryoshka next. Two numbers, chest you open, contain two relics, as well as an Essence of Steel. You know what? Let's drink the Fruit Juice, take the Essence of Steel. Foreign Influence is really good. As much as I would like a second evaluate, let's take the Foreign Influence, and that might be the, the next thing I'll upgrade. Well, having all the Talk to the Ends upgraded would have been nice, too. Let's do Talk to the End, Consecrate. I probably should have played some skills first, right? Yeah, let's do Study and then Flying Sleeves. Okay. And I am Frail next turn, and I'm getting attacked for 18. Although I also have Wave the Hand, which is nice. Let's do Wave the Hand, Consecrate, and then might as well do Tranquility, play the Perseverances. Okay. Still taking some damage here, unfortunately. But that's fine. I have enough max HP, or enough HP. All right, 18. Let's do another. Actually, I'll do the talk to somebody else. Actually, I can enter Wrath here. Yeah, let's do another talk to the end and Crescendo. All right, Foreign Influence gives me Thunderclap. That's pretty good. Okay. Then do th uh, Cut Through Fate. Uh, halt might give me enough to fully defend. But no, I think I'll take the Insight to hopefully draw more um, cards. Prostrate, Evaluate. Uh, okay, fine. I have to exit Wrath for the Empty Body, so let's do that. A bit of a bummer, I was hoping. I guess maybe I'm lacking good of attack cards. That might be a problem. Let's do another Sanctity. All right, Consecrate 1, 2. I mean, really, the problem is I don't have enough ways to enter Wrath. I just have one so far. Then do another Inside Crush Joints. Oh, probably shouldn't have played that because that, that forced a reshuffle, but it should also allow me to kill here with the Flying Sleeves. Good. Okay, I got a Flex Push, which I don't think I'll take. Protect Just Lucky Flying Sleeves. This will be my third Flying Sleeves, but I think the Protect might be better. Let's take it. It's pre-upgraded, too. And then I have to go on the right. Right. Almost missed that path there. Okay. Born Influence gives me... Pummel Strike is fine, I guess. Okay. Let's do Pummel Strike. Uh, Miracle Sanctity. Mm -hmm. Then Talk to the End is great. I can do Halt. Cut Through Fate. Uh, flying Sleeves is pretty good as well. Mm-hmm. And then I'm fully defended. Let's do evaluate. I should have considered using the flying sleeves on the bird. That way I would have gotten it to the ground. Okay. Uh, let's do wave of the hand. Then consecrate. Empty body. And I will play the tranquility just to um, free up my hand a little. Otherwise I will have trouble drawing five cards every turn. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked here is good. Uh, let's do talk to the hand. You. Then crush. Oh, I can't do the signature move. That's a bummer. All right, let's do Crush Joints and Flying Sleeves. Yeah, there's nothing I can draw that will give me extra energy, right? Yeah, a bit of a bummer. Signature move would have dealt a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. 16. All right, so here let's do... Oh, boy. I don't think I'll do Empty Body. Let's do Consecrate, see what the inside gives me. Crescendo would be great if I had any attacks. Well, I do have the uh, Consecrate. Although with weakness, that might not be enough. Fine, let's do Crescendo. Then um, maybe play something else. I'll do Protect. And one of the Perseverances. Okay. And then I think I can do Consecrate. All right. Don't want to play any other skills. I'm going to draw a lot of dazed here, right? At least I can do another talk to the end. I don't think I'll do Prostrate because I do want to reshuffle and finally get something other than dazed. 48. That's a lot. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do about that. Let's do Perseverance 1. 
and two. Actually, can I fully defend? Yeah, 41. That's not too bad. Actually, yeah, I can fully defend. I don't need to exit Wrath. Good. That way I can stay in, in Wrath and try to kill here with the Flying Sleeves. Okay, yeah, I need more damage. We got a Speed Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Establish an MP Fist or Halt. Yeah, let's take a second Halt. MP Fist would have been good too, but... um. I would need more ways to enter Wrath before I take ways to exit. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. In Dark Storm Peria, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. That's really good. I only need to get to 97 to get an extra... No. Um, wait, I started 72. 87. Right, right. All right. So here, let's do Study. Um, yeah, might as well do Halt. And I will hang on to too many cards. So let's get rid of one of the... Actually, you know what? I'll get rid of two Perseverances. I want to make sure I can draw enough cards. Get to the Crescendo faster. Okay, well, there's a Tranquility that I don't really need. Consecrate. I think I can do Flying Sleeves to try to fully defend. You know what? Let's also play the Perseverance here. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least the Tranquility is zero cost. All right, there's a cheap signature move. I should be able to play that, right? So let's do... Um. Yeah, I have the energy. Let's do Talk to the End first, then Prostrate. Then Crush joins Signature Move. 58 damage, that's pretty good. And I'm fully defended. Nice. Another 8. I can do Talk to the Hand and Consecrate is enough to kill. Good. Okay, we've got a Dex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Simmering Fury, Prostrate, or Indignation. Probably another... Oh, actually... Should I take the Indignation? That would be a way to enter Wrath. Yeah, yeah. I think I need, a, I need a way to enter Wrath more than I need another uh, Prostrate. Yeah, let's take the Indignation. It's pretty upgraded, too. I'm glad I saw that. I otherwise would have clicked too quickly away. Yeah, for example, this is a problem. I do have a stance shift potion, so I might try to use it here. So let's try doing something like indignation. Wait, I have four energy, so I can play everything. So the order does matter a little. I mean, it's the best attempt I have, right? Anything the power potion could be? No, no. Let's try indignation. Mm -hmm. I only have two damage cards, right? Talk to the end, it's crush joints together. They will be not a lot of damage. So this would be with vulnerability, probably 17 plus 22. That's 30 something. I might get it. Oh, and then, of course, Consecrate. Um, but then, obviously, I have to defend. Uh, so I definitely want to play the Perseverance. Okay. Then I want to play the other skill, Prostrate. So the question is, even if I exit Wrath, it's 19 incoming, right? So even if I play Talk to the End first and then do two attacks, that's going to give me four block. That's 13, plus even the Essence of Steel is only 17. So that's not going to be 19 that I need. So maybe I just don't exit Wrath. All right, fine. Yeah, let's just do Crush Joints. Um, Talk to the Hand. And then Consecrate. And then let me save the Stand Ship Potion because it's pretty powerful. There's no way I can fully defend against this anyway. So might as well save that potion for a turn where I can defend. Let's do Talk to the Hand. Um, see what the Foreign Influence gives me. Fiendfire is actually very... T oh, no. It's, it won't be free, though. Eh, still still pretty fine. And then I can do Flying Sleeves. It's not enough. Let's do Talk to the End You. Then Flying Sleeves You. That is enough. And then kill with the Fiendfire. Yeah, so only one turn I wasn't able to defend the first one. We got Damaru at the start of your turn. Gain one Mantra, which is pretty good with all the other cards that give me Mantra. And then Attack Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Consecrate, Conclude, Evaluate. I'll take another Evaluate here. Come. All right. Next upgrade. I think instead of upgrading... No, no. You know what? Let's upgrade the Foreign Influence. As much as I like the Talk to the Ends upgraded, the Foreign Influence upgrade is so much better. All right, Book of Stabbing. Yeah, I needed to draw good cards here. I do have the Wave of the Hand, which is nice. Let's do Wave of the Hand, Prostrate. All right, so then one Perseverance is enough. Uh, let's play the Crush Joints at the end. I only have skills anyway. I will play one more. Actually, here, let's do Empty Body. I will play one Perseverance and then Crush Joints. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twelve. All right, there are my Talk to the Hands. So let's do one, two, then Consecrate. Okay, and then Cut Through Fate should allow me to be fully defended. Do I want to play the Signature Move? I think I want to. Yeah, let's do Miracle, Consecrate, and then Signature Move for 72 damage. Almost got Overkill without being in Wrath. Actually, I could have gotten Overkill if I just used the Stance Potion, right? 15 here, I can just do Halt, Sanctity, and fully defend with another... No, with the Evaluate. Actually, I mean, I could have played a Flying Sleeves to fully defend here, but that's fine. And then here I can do um, Insight, Indignation, and then kill with Flying Sleeves. With the Flying Sleeves. 
All right, we got ice cream. Energy is not conserved between turns. That's really good because I have a lot of zero cost cards. An ancient push, which I don't think I'll take. Weef, weef. I only have the cut through fate for scry synergies, right? I did reject a few others, and here's third eye that I could also reject. I think I'll take the weef though. Hopefully, I can pick up more scry cards going forward. Upgrade a card. Okay, now I'll upgrade the talk to the end, and now I have one more upgrade, and I think that should be the third talk to the end. So once I have all the talk to the ends played, every attack will give me nine block, which seems very powerful. Okay. All right, so I think I'll risk indignation here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's do indignation. Do I want to do... Wait, I have five energy. So one, two, three, four, and then wave the hand is not going to really do anything, right? So maybe instead of that, I'll play the evaluate. All right, so then I'll do study, evaluate, crush joints, and then flying sleeves. Okay. All right, backliner is attacking. Everyone is, and I did not draw a way to Exodrath. I do have the stance potion. Should I drink the power potion? Let me see what that gives me. Devotion, Master Reality, Deva Form. I don't know if Deva Form is necessary. Master Reality will upgrade all the insights. I don't know if that's necessary. It's not a bad idea, though. Devotion would allow me to enter Divinity faster. Let's do that. All right, and then let's see what the insight gives me. Perseverance, Tranquility. Well, I have a way to exit Wrath. I don't think I have a way to fully defend, though. Um, Let's see. So, can't even deal. Yeah, I, I neither have ways to defend, nor I have ways to... Uh, Kill anything or even take block from damage. All right, fine. Let's do pray. I mean, the best I can do is just play everything, right? So evaluate, consecrate, okay. Then tranquility and play the perseverance. That's the best I can do, and I just got super unlucky. Yeah, didn't have any of my block returns played. I guess talk to the end plays. Didn't draw any weakness or anything. Yeah, that was just a very disappointing draw. And not much I can I can do about that. Let's do Weave. Foreign Influence gives me Dramatic Entrance. It's pretty good. Yeah. Let's do that. Then Prostrate. Actually, Prostrate will allow me to enter Divinity, right? I didn't even notice that. I can do Halt. Consecrate. Kills the Minions. And then I can fully defend with the Empty Body. Yeah, that was a bummer. Even if I drew some of the Perseverances earlier, that might have helped. If I had these Talk to the Hands earlier. Yeah, just, just a little bit disappointing here. But what can you do? Um, other than playing the Flying Sleeves, Signature Move, Insight, more Consecrates, and wait. Yeah, now I'm getting 72 to block, but uh, where was that in turn two? And a, re a reload won't, won't help either, right? Because I just started off with a horrible bad draw. Yeah, a bit of a bummer here. Um, let's see if I can get some good attacks. Weave. Uh, or should I wait to enter Divinity? With the Hand Evaluate. Um... Trying to think. I could try to get overkill finally. I'm sure I'll get it sooner or later. I'm not too worried. Supply vulnerability, cut through fate, and then um, actually prostrate would allow me to enter divinity. Okay. And then I can do insight and consecrate to kill. Yeah, unfortunate. Should have been able to perfect this one with some luck, and I just didn't get any luck. Lesson learned is interesting, but I think I'll go for Popper. Didn't you really need rare cards? Now, Holy Water is also interesting. Um, I actually don't really need energy. I think I'll go for the Max HP instead. Tiny House, open pick up, obtain one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your Max HP by five, obtain one card, and upgrade one random card. All right, we got a Steady Upgrade, which is not bad, a Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll need, and Worship is interesting that I have tomorrow. I do have one Indignation. I wouldn't mind a second one, but let's take the Worship. I also have the Energy, and this would allow me to enter Divinity much easier than before. All right, Donun Deca is fine. Um, three lead path. If I start on the right, I'll get four question mark rooms and then the three leads in a row. There's a lead shop, but no more question mark rooms after that. So curses might be difficult. I probably will try to remove it at that shop. All right, let's do talk to the hand, wave of the hand. For an influence gives me streamline for free. Yeah, sure. Let's take it. Then do halt, weave, streamline. Okay. Keep the perseverance for later. I might have considered upgrading, though. Although I don't think even upgraded Perseverances would not have helped against the uh, previous boss. Can I do Crescendo here? I think I should be able to deal a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Let's do Crescendo Study. Then Prostrate Crush Joints. Okay. I can do Cut Through Fate. Um, I could do Empty Body. Uh, I can also just fully defend with the Halt. But I also realize here, let's do one more Weave. I also realized that I killed the one that had the most block return, so um, I should try to kill these two as well. All right, Indignation is pretty good. Let's do that. Then do Prey, Perseverance. 
And then I can do Consecrate and kill with the Flying Sleeves. Oh no, didn't kill. Got close, but didn't kill. Mm -hmm. At least I drew a bunch of cards and I can enter uh, Divinity here with something like Worship. All right. Uh, can I play the signature move? Um, yes. Uh, let's do Flying Sleeves. Oh, that doesn't even kill the backliner. All right, fine. Let's still do Flying Sleeves. Then signature move does 162 damage. That is that is a lot. And then let's see if I can... Yeah, Consecrate kills. Good. So I finally got Overkill. We've got a Stance Potion, which I already have. Halt, Study, Empty Fist. Let's take another Halt. Mm -hmm. And then uh, definitely not going to lose 500 gold for one Relic. Instead, I'll just buy multiple uh, Relics at the shop. So a second Prostrate. I think now that I have the Weave, another Third Eye is pretty good. And Rushdown is interesting. But let's take these two first. And then maybe I'll focus on the Relics. We've got Toolbox at the Starvage Combat. Choose one of three random colors cards and add the chosen card to your hand. And then Nunchaku, every time I play 10 attacks and extra energy, is not bad. I don't think I need the Warpaint as badly. Yeah, let's take Nunchaku. And then I would love to do both Rushdown and the Dark Shackles. I don't think I need Dark Shackles for the boss fight, though. Let's take the Rushdown here. And then I could even remove a card, but no, let's take the card Reality. Yeah, let's get to 40, uh, 50 cards first because before I start thinking about removing the curse. You got Injury as well as Anchor. So I just come with 10 block as well as Mob Bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when we spend any gold at a shop. Wait, so... Oh, that's two injuries already. Okay, so I have three curses. Hang on. Curses is possible. For some reason, I like mentally gave up on curses, but yeah, just because I didn't have a lot of question mark rooms. Actually, I still love. I mean, I could fight the Writhing Mass. That would that would allow me to get another. Oh, never mind. Yeah, definitely going to take that because I have another shop coming up, right? So get the normalities as well as a bunch of gold. And I, I do have to be careful because I have a lot of insights. So I might draw into the normalities. Um, I think I can secret weapon the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Well, there's a normality. That's a problem, right? Um, I was going to do the uh, secret, uh, not the signature move. That's what I meant. But then I would have to play one, two, three cards. Yeah, so I can't do that. Okay, the normality is actually looking to be very annoying. Um, if that's the case, then let's do talk to the hand, pray, and then consecrate. Oh, yeah, normalities might have been a pain. I just have to survive till the next shop, and then I can try to remove them. Well, Indignation would be great if I um, wasn't being attacked. Let's do Prostrate, uh, Weave. Uh, I have to play the Protect this wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. 45 incoming. Yeah, that's a lot. I could do... Uh, does it make sense? Here, let's do Sanctity first. Okay. I do have the energy. Oh, although I could draw the Normality and then that will ruin everything. Um, let's do Crescendo, then Halt. Then prostrate to exit wrath and enter divinity. Then do carve reality and smite for a lot of damage. Let me do third eye first. Should have played the skill first. Evaluate wave the hand would have been great if I could have drawn into it. I'll keep it for next turn. Uh, ooh, I had another uh, weave and smite. Okay, and then I can actually fully defend with the perseverance. Yeah, nice. All right, that wasn't too bad. Hmm. Another 18 here. I have wave the hand, which is pretty good. Then talk to the hand, consecrate, evaluate, and do I even need flying sleeves? No, I have plenty of turns of uh, weakness, and I keep the flying sleeves for when I'm in wrath. All right, uh, foreign influence gives me carnage. That's pretty good. Um, I don't want to draw anything. I might draw the normality. So let's instead do consecrate, flying sleeves, then carnage. Actually, can I kill with it? Yeah, let's do carnage first before I play the inside. Okay, crush joint. See, if I knew it was going to be this way... I would have done it differently, but not much I can do. Let's do Tranquility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked yet. That's good. I can do Talk to the Hand. And look at that. The Normality is not even bothering me. Because I should be able to kill with any decent attack. There it is. Um, Wait. Let's do something like this, this, and then. Okay, good. All right, perfect. This one, we got Strike Dummy. Cards containing Strike Deal. Three additional damage. This was a Region Push, which I don't think I'll take. Crescendo, just Lucky Wheel Kick. I think now, as much as I like a... Oh, just second crescendo? I thought it was, it was my third. No, the second crescendo. I, I think I should take the just lucky because I have the weave as well. All right, next upgrade. I already upgraded all the talk to the hands, right? So I am considering upgrading the perseverances for some strong defensive capabilities. Or you know what? Let's do sanctity instead. Also pretty good. I try to play it almost every time. And card draw is important. Okay. All right, Reptomancer. Trip, Apotheosis. Apotheosis would be great. And I have extra energy. Let's take it. Uh, of course, normality. All right, let's do apotheosis. Upgrade everything. Um, 
Can I kill one of the minions? No. Uh, even, no, I can't do crescendo. So, well, actually, no, 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 nothing I can do about this. Uh, so let's just do, I think I have to defend, right? So I have to do perseverance and halt. Okay, yeah, that's what happens when you have two normalities in your deck. Mm -hmm. All right, give me some, uh, okay, I was hoping for some consecrates. I think I'll risk entering, Divin uh, no, 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 let's draw cards first, because I, if I draw a normality, I don't want to be in wrath for that. So let's do sanctity first. Okay, there's signature, but that's pretty good. All right, let's do crescendo. Um, worship doesn't help me here. I'll do evaluate. I have the energy. So then just lucky. Yeah, this is fine. All right, signature move would deal a lot of damage. I'm trying to think if I can kill here. I think I can, right? Because this is 136. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, thanks to that signature move. We got pair up and pick up raise your max HP by 10. Very nice. I only need to get to 102, right? I, got, I already got the max HP modifier. Also, blessing of the fortress, which I don't need. And cut through fate, crush joint, or indignation. I think I have one of each. So which do I want a second copy of? Let's take the Cut Through Fate. Very useful card. All right, here I got Shame as well as Lantern. So I just come with additional energy. Wait, is that my seventh curse? Two injuries, two normalities, two shames. Oh, no, sixth curse. Okay, good. All right, so I can safely remove one of the normalities. That's that's very nice. Um, I can also buy everything. Let's remove the normalities first. If I got another curse, I would love to remove the other normalities as well, but... Here I got a bag of marbles at the start of each combat, applying one vulnerable to all enemies. Uh, singing bowl, when adding cards into your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. And Strange Spoon, do I want that? Um, I don't mind it. Cards which exhaust when played will instead discard 50% of the time. Yeah, that's fine. Let's also take another card for reality. Wave the hand. Deceive reality is good. Let me take another rush down. Why not? And then take the Empty Fist. I'm good with the potions. Impatience might be good, actually. Let's take it because I do need extra card draw. And I mean, this is the last shot, right? So... And I'm guaranteed to not have any shops. I'm also guaranteed to not have any... Um, well, I could avoid curses. I don't have any question mark rooms anymore. And I have five. Next upgrade, I wonder if I should upgrade the... Actually, no. Let's upgrade the worship so that if I can't play it, it doesn't get. It doesn't um, discard. I'm trying to think if there's a better upgrade. But no, I think this is the best here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then got the giant head who's not attacking me. Master of Strategy is pretty good for turn one. All right, probably should start off with worship. I have the energy too, right? Let's do sanctity. Hope I don't draw the normality. I did not talk to the end. It's great. Uh, let's do prostrate uh, master of strategy. Okay, I can do study, deceive reality, and then carve realities. As soon as I can enter uh, divinity, I, sh I could go crazy with the carve reality, with the uh, smites, I mean. And then cut through fade. Yeah, next turn I can do indignation. Why not? Okay. Although I cannot exit Wrath. Oh, luckily I'm not being attacked. Good. So let's do Indignation. Then do Talk to the Hand. And then play. Should I keep the Smites? You know what? Next turn I'm in D Divinity, right? So I probably shouldn't play the Smites this turn anyway. Okay. Next turn I'll also be Frail, which is a problem. Which can be a problem. Alright, 13. Um, let's start off with Foreign Influence. Dropkick, Streamline, Flying Sleeves. Unless this gives me a Normality, I should be fine. Phew. Okay. That was a bit of a gamble there. Um, and then let's do, I do need one extra, actually I don't need block, the smites are enough, but I do want to get rid of some cards. Here, let's get rid of the protect and the perseverance. Yeah, I don't think I need them. And then smite one, smite two. I already got the overcome modifier, right? So I don't have to go too crazy. Mm -hmm. 13. Uh, let's do rush down. I'm not in wrath, so, but I mean, I can still play the halts. Okay. And then I can do just lucky. That should be enough. Prey is good and prostrate is good as well. Uh, you know what? Let's play them now. So I'll do Pray, Prostrate. And that is it. Okay. No more vulnerability, though. 30 incoming. There is a signature move here. That's good. Let's do Wave of the Hand, then Flying Sleeves. Then I can do Signature Move. I still have the Normality, right? So I might accidentally draw it. I do wonder if I should play a Perseverance before playing the, uh, the Impatience. Let's do it just in case I draw the... Um, Okay, I didn't, but still, it was better safe than sorry. Don't need another Tranquility. Um, evaluate is fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. At least I also have a bunch of turns of weakness now. Unfortunately, next turn I'll also be Frail. 26. I still have that Normality hanging over my head. Um, much I can do about this, right? Uh, I think I have to risk seeing if I can draw something useful that is not a Normality, all right? I'll do empty body, save team, 14, and then even if I play all the consecrates, oh, actually, never mind, that is enough block. All right, then let's see if I can draw, I don't mind drawing a normality now, 
because I'm already fully defended. Weave, flying sleeves, and I think that's it. Come. All right, two more turns, and I'll be in divinity again. Um, I could do crescendo now. Still a normality, my draw pal. So risky. Let's do third eye. I was really hoping to get rid of that normality. Let me draw. See, the problem, I can't really draw too many cards, and I don't have a lot of block either. Can I try to kill? I would like to play a talk to the hand. Yeah, fine. Let's draw the talk to the end with the insight. Here, I'll do crescendo. I think my goal is to try to kill here. Then insight... Oh, that was risky. Yeah, I forgot I already had one rush down. There's a very high chance I will draw the normality, so I have to be very careful. Let's do talk to the hand here. Then weave, consecrate. Okay, 31. So if I can exit wrath, I should be fine. Um, Yeah, I can do that with tranquility, right? Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's the normality. And I'm in Divinity, of course. And I didn't draw any good defense, uh, good offensive cards. I don't think there's anything I can do, right? Inside will only draw me... Hang on. No, no, 18. The smite is not going to be enough. Is there something I can do? The enemy is already weakened, right? Let's do card reality. 43. I'm trying to think, even with the strength push. And, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. That normality really missed, allowed me to miss this perfect. That's a bummer. All right, fine, fine. Um, I think here, let's do Miracle, Tranquility, Crescendo. That'll draw me a full hand. Crush joins, Foreign Influence. Uh, Hyper Beam is enough to kill. Yeah, bummer. We got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. So as a Colors Push, which I don't think I'll take. Definitely not a second signature move. I think... Wait, how many Perseverances do I have? Um, oh, I only have three. All right, let's get a Collector Bonus. That might be one of the few Collector Bonuses I'm getting. All right, Orb Walker, Crystalist, The Bomb, or Purity. Not a huge fan. Let's take purity, sure. Um, all right, so here I'll do talk to the hand, consecrate, carve reality, then play the rushdowns, might as well, pray, and um, yeah, sure, let's do smite, why not? Mm -hmm. 13. Um, here I can do wave the hand, halt, crush joints, and then empty fist. Almost enough to kill. Mm hmm. And here, Cutthroat Fate is enough to kill. Good. All right, got an Explosive Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Indignation, Meditate, Worship. A second Worship might be good. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm hoping to get more Divinity, um, or enter Divinity more often, so let's take it. Mm -hmm. And then got the Jawworms. Panic Button, I don't think it's necessary. Let's take the Impatience. Mm -hmm. So here, I'll do Rush Down. Uh, let's play cons Consecrate at the end. I'll do Pray, Halt. And then Consecrate, then Impatience, okay? Uh, I don't think I need Protect. Yeah, this is fine. Didn't deal a lot of damage on turn 1, so sort of wasted the vulnerability from the Bag of Marbles. Not turn Catcher, right? And then here, let's do Sanctity. Might draw me the Normality, but let's risk it, okay? Then talk to the Hand for an Influence. That gives me Thunderclap, nice. And then I probably should have done Wave the Hand for more Weakness. Carve Reality, Consecrate, okay? Then Smite kills you, Flying Knee... Uh, flying Sleeves does not kill you. Uh, let's kill the Backliner. Makes my life easier. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then here I can just do Crescendo. Is Empty Body or Empty Fist enough? No, Cut Through Fade, but Empty Fist together is, though. Come. Okay. Alright, we got a Fear Potion, which might not be a bad... No, not against Onundeka. Yeah, I don't think I need a Fear Potion for those. Another Weave, Third Eye, or Flurry of Blows. So let's take the Third Eye now. Or a Second Weave. It might be useful. Come. Okay. And then I'm trying to think if I should rest, because I have enough max HP, and resting would allow me to get another card. Am I close to a collect bonus on anything else? No, it looks like I either have four copies of stuff or three or two. Actually, Halt. I have three copies of Halt. And third, uh, Talk to the Hand. Fine, fine. I don't think there's a huge up, um, benefit to uh, resting. Or to upgrading. Perseverance, I already have enough. Let's take another worship. Yeah, that's a bummer. Wasn't able to get another collector bonus. I think I only end up with two. All right, another apotheosis is pretty good. Okay, so a lot will defend when I draw the normality. Let's drink these two. Okay, there is worship that will... Well, it's upgraded, so I don't need to um, get rid of it. I do need to come up with twelve or 20 block. Let's definitely do apotheosis. Then talk to the hand, cut through fate. There's another talk to the end coming up. That's pretty good. Let's do that. All right. Okay. And now one more attack. Actually, Empty Fist is enough. Right. Good. So I'm fully defended. Let's also do Pray. Ooh. You know what? Let's do Miracle Worship. Since I have the... Um... Oh, I messed that up. 
I am going to reload because I didn't realize that with man the, the prey gives you four uh, mantra once upgraded. And with the Maru and Worship, I was able to enter Divinity. Let me actually think if I should um, plan around that and try to enter Divinity this turn. I don't think there's a huge need. Yeah, I'd rather... Let me not play the Worship and save it for later. That seems like a much better idea. All right, let's try this one more time. So during this and this, this and this, get the Talk to the Hand... All right, and then empty fist to be fully defended, and then pray, and nothing else. Good. Keep the worship for later. Now, next turn, I will be frail. That might be a problem. Okay, there's shame, and I have a lot of incoming. And unfortunately, entering divinity is not going to help me in any way. Okay, since I already reloaded, let me reload one more time and try to see a way that I can kill on turn one, if that's possible. I, it might be because I can enter Divinity, so that's definitely a possibility, I think. So let's drink these two one more time. All right, so Apotheosis, and I think if I do Pray and Worship, I'm in Divinity already, all right? Then Talk to the Hand, Cut Through Fate. Another Talk to the Hand, still, still pretty good. You know what, let's get rid of these two, okay? Then one more Talk to the Hand, and then Empty Fist. Okay, well, I wasn't able to kill, but I did deal a lot of damage. I'm still afraid that's not going to be enough, right? So I have 26 incoming. I'm frail here. Oh, right, because I have two shames. Okay, the insight might help. Third Eye Prostrate. Okay, this... I mean, I got all the defensive cards that are possible to get. Let's see if that helps. So Prostrate, Third Eye. Get rid of the normality. That's actually very lucky. I was able to get rid of that. And then Empty Fist, Perseverance 1, Perseverance 2. That is enough. Okay, good. All right. This one does count as cheating, though, because I had to review what's going to come up next to be able to play this well. All right. Uh, here, I'll do Consecrate, Carve Reality, Evaluate, Halt, uh, Flying Sleeves to be full defended. And, um, yeah, let's keep the Smite for when I'm in Divinity next. Mm -hmm. So I'll do Rush Down, Just Lucky. Um, this looks fine. Smite. Then play the Impatience. All right. We've... Consecrate. Um, I'm already fully defended, right? Uh, yeah, I don't need to play the others. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I can do Crescendo to draw cards. Let's do Sanctity first. All right. Oh, I mean, then I can exit Wrath with Worship, but I don't have any attacks, right? So what's the point? I mean, I have a Stance Potion as well. Let's enter Wrath to draw cards. I think that's important. All right, great. Nothing super useful here. So then let's do Study, Evaluate... Um, Protect. And then I don't want to waste the worship. Let's drink the this potion to exit wrath. That way I can enter uh, divinity whenever I want to. Mm -hmm. 38. Really was hoping for something better, but I think this will have to do. So let's do worship, enter divinity. Actually, I can do one more worship for next time. Then weave, cut through fate. Okay, that kills. Crush joins is pretty good. Yep, let's do deceive reality, crush joins, play more weaves. And then Insight, Consecrate, Flying Sleeves. I'm not far off from being able to kill here. Um, yeah, I'll stop here. Should be able to kill with a decent attack card next turn. Like the signature move. Awesome. All right. Uh, Misty, Speedster, or Lightspeed Modifier by two and a half minutes. But I think that's fine. I wasn't playing too slowly. 1444, not too bad. But I did miss the Act 2 boss. And I had to reload the Act 3 boss to be able to perfect it. Um, was able to perfect six out of the nine elites. Uh, again, missed one of the bosses. Did get Popper, only got two collector bonuses. That's, I think, a big disappointment, but Curses was definitely doable. I like Shiny was fairly easy. Let me also review. Um, yeah, I had the Dream Catch, although that, unfortunately, came at the very end and didn't give me extra collector bonuses. Missed the uh, extra 25 points from having a little bit more gold, but overall, pretty decent run, I think. So, yeah, the easiest thing is to get another 100 points, 1544. Okay, so even if I perfect the Act 2 boss, that would have only put me in 19th or 18th place. So, um, 44, right? So Vorpal got extra 50 points on top of what I had, which indicates maybe more perfects, more collective bonuses. I do assume that Vorpal was able to perfect everything, all the bosses. And then Mike has only 30 points more than what I would have been able to get. So I wonder if that means that Mike took a different path. As it stands, I am in 36th place, um, about 25, actually, no, exactly 25 points below Steven and Pelts who tied. Um, yeah, not a bad run. Oh, and then actually I'm about 25 points more than Joe. Yeah, not not too bad of a run. Um, 
I don't know. I just got unlucky against the Act 2 boss. I think the most interesting thing here is, and I will um, embark again just to show you the sealed deck. The most interesting thing is what sort of starting deck people went for. So I went for collector bonuses, right? So I took a bunch of Consecrates, and then I sort of just relied. I only had one Crescendo. I definitely took that. I didn't really have a strategy. Talk to the end definitely helped. And then later to, on Act 3, I was able to enter Divinity often. I am curious if others went for a different strategy, um, although I don't see a good synergy here that would have been much better. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you did. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.